I felt like I was unimportant. My existence had no value to the people around me. Then one day in the gym, my friend was like, I want a Toji build. I was perplexed. And then he showed me this TikTok. And suddenly, I had a newfound admiration for a character I didn't know about. Why you ask? Well, he had a respectable demeanor. And for me, it made me want to be like him. And I started hearing little things about him. So I went and researched his law because I realized his past would have contributed to his current actions. So here's the story. Toji was born in the Zenin clan. For those who watch the anime, they may be familiar with Maki Zenin. It's the same clan she's from, and we know they're quite testicular and quite power-centric. Toji's lack of cursed energy and reliance on weapons set him apart, leaving him marked as inferior by his relatives. But little did they know, within this unassuming man resided a formidable power that would strike both awe and terror in the hearts of those who crossed his path. As whispers of his astounding physical strength circulated within the Zenin family, some proved to respect the tenacity that coursed through his veins, transcending the boundaries of cursed energy. It was as though he had harnessed the raw primal energy of the earth itself. And as many of you know, once you are feared, that means you are respected, as people only respect you if they know you're capable of causing them harm. And he was capable of turning the sorcerer's world upside down, so that led him to being acknowledged by them. However, destiny was not one to be bound by the chains of tradition, and Toji's heart yearned for a life beyond the confinements of his clan. With an air of nonchalance that masked the true depths of his intentions, he casually decided to sever ties with the Zenin family. Stepping away from his old life, Toji sought a new path, embracing love and matrimony, and in the course of time, where the fate of a child yet unborn would be debated. Despite his newly found love and family, Toji's heart seemed elusive, torn between the responsibilities of a father and the desire to be free from any emotional entanglements. In a twist of fate, Toji made a heart-wrenching decision, then left his own son and stepdaughter behind, venturing forth on a solitary path, detached from the bonds of kinship. In the wake of his departure, memories of Toji faded like fragments of a distant dream from his son's mind. Toji vowed never to let pride taint his heart or cloud his judgment. Story over. I realized Toji's journey was one of complexity, tragedy, and relentless determination. Despite being born without the innate ability to wield cursed energy, didn't hinder his prowess. Instead, he channeled his energy into honing his physical strength and the unique combination of skills and determination to survive in a world dominated by sorcerers granted him the title of Sorcerer Killer. And I came to understand, to become a man with the ally Sorcerer Killer, which was respected by ones that once looked down on him, was because of his accomplishments. But I also realized I can't focus on gaining respect from my work if my personality isn't worth respect. So I started to look at his personality. For example, Toji's cool-headed demeanor served as the foundation of his power, his ability to remain calm and collected even in the face of danger, which allowed him to strategize and ploy his moves effectively. This calculated approach, coupled with his natural inclination for insightful conversations when it pertained to himself, granted him an edge both in battle and personal interactions. And this level-headed approach let him absorb all the information and make the correct decisions no matter what scenario he is in. This inspired me to work on a calm, collected state. Moreover, Toji's tragic past and rejection he had experienced from the Jiu-Jitsu society fueled his thirst for vengeance. His disdain for the sorcerer clans and their manipulation of power led him to become a formidable adversary. By ignoring his survival instincts and seeking to discredit Jiu-Jitsu society, Toji demonstrated an unwavering resolve that made him a force to be reckoned with. And the respect he garnered from this is because of his resilient mind. And we can all respect a man that goes through hardship because innately, we end up believing he's a higher value man because he is stress tolerant. I had made up my mind that I would create a strong mind Despite abandoning his family at first, he eventually recognized Megami's potential as a sorcerer and even sacrificed his own life to protect him. This act of love solidified his legacy and proved that admiration of him was worth it. Being capable and willing to sacrifice like a man should for his own family is what made him more respected in my eyes, because this was my ideal self. Now with all of this, I understood my mind needed to be strong and present to be able to achieve the admiration and respect of others. It's the most basic thing which is required to be able to achieve respectable things like Toji and I believe we all need to go through hardship as well to achieve stuff and become respected and I'm not talking about hardship as in go fight people who doubted you no I'm saying our basis of achievement should be success in business education or physique and 
to do that, what I learned from him is you need to abide by your words. For example, when you go to the gym saying you're going to go hit legs, hit them. If you want to revise from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., go on, shoot. You want to get your business up and running, do something about it. But you know what helps having like-minded people around you or just the hunger to prove people wrong? For Toji's case, I believe it was his will to be looked at respectfully by the people around him. Yes, it's a toxic mindset, but what's wrong with that? To destroy the pride of the people who doubted you. This is how you get to a point where you're respected and with his demeanor you can also accomplish stuff and be respected. You need to build those words to habits. I think that can be done through my free daily newsletter about summaries of self-improvement book. But no, in general, building up the mentality to prove people wrong through your accomplishments can only be seen as a good thing. Now go there and take action.